What's going on everybody? I have an update. So as you can tell, my hands are already dirty and there's a reason for that. I tried to film this in the uh, the place I was at yesterday and I wasn't able to get it done. I was getting phone calls, people come up and bugging me. But anyway, like I said, I had a surprise. It was a 6.0. So here it is. I got a Junkyard LS. This is an LQ4. It's a 6.0. I got it for the Camaro. I'm absolutely stoked to come out of a uh, 2002 Chevy van and uh, I'm not sure what the mileage is, I'm not sure exactly what happened to it, but the body was rough. Somebody already taken the transmission, uh, but I got the entire motor, top to bottom. I got the uh, wire harness, it was completely untouched, and I also got the ECM, all for 300 bucks from Pull Apart. So if anybody knows anything, and I, for a long time I didn't mess with them, but if anybody knows anything about these LS motors, they make power, and you can find them in the junkyard cheap. I mean. This has got a set of uh, 317 heads on, so it's a lower compression engine. Um, but I'll probably swap a different set of heads onto it. Maybe you know, some like 799 heads or something like that. So I'm just going to get some higher compression, make a little more horsepower. But with a cam swap, maybe changing the heads. I mean, with the heads that's on it, you could probably get 500 horse pretty easy. Change the heads, a cam, and a nice tune. I mean, you could be pushing close to 550, 575, 600 horse naturally aspirated with these things. It's insane. So I'm pretty stoked. Uh, we're tearing it apart now. I'm tearing it apart now. Uh, and there, one thing with these LS motors or motors with aluminum heads is these uh, studs right here, they tend to break. These uh, exhaust manifold bolts, they snap off inside the head. So we'll have to extract. Three of them are broken. So we'll have to extract those out of there. Shouldn't be a big deal though. Um, it's a cast iron block, aluminum heads. Uh, it's the uh, six, the early 6.0s, so it's got the longer crank, so it's going to fit right up to my Turbo 350 Trans. Don't have to use any um, adapter, what they call the cock rings or anything like that. Uh, it's got everything, man. I'm so freaking stoked for 300 bucks. This is a start, so I'm going to tear it apart and see what all's in it. I was really close to not getting it yesterday just because once we, uh, I went Friday, my brother and I went Friday to look at it, look around, see what we could find. Found a bunch of 5.3s. Finally, the last vehicle we looked at had a 6.0 in it. Transmission was gone. Fuel tank and stuff was already ripped out of it. Didn't have time to get it. So we came back the next morning and uh, we pulled the uh, wire harness and all that stuff off. Um, got the thing completely loose. And we had to take the intake off because it was in one of those old uh, the uh, work vans. So like, you couldn't lift it up out of there. Uh, so we took the intake off and then we... Um, slid it forward the next day sunday morning we went back to get it because we ran out of time again because we had a family function and um so sunday we went back we was about 20 minutes away uh from losing it because we just got it up on the chain got it up out of there and some fellow walked up wanting it so he had his eye on it so that's the thing with the, you can find the 5.3s all day long but the six those they're hard to come across man when they hit the junkyard somebody's got them so this thing's got the old cathedral port heads on it man I'm so, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to take any videos of me tearing it apart right now, but if I come across something, we'll do a video about that. But right now, this is just an update. 6-0 for the Camaro. It's going to be absolutely awesome, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.